Michael Bagley, come from Feather River College. Really excited to be part of this video project to help you out with your statistics class. As you can see, we're Math 202, and I'd like to talk for a few minutes on Module 1. Now, I got my notes here. Module 1 is really about data and types of statistics. Now, I've done a lot of research in my life doing actual projects with data. And the learning outcomes with data, there are going to be things like, well, what kind of variables can you have? And I think these questions will make sense as you're reading the materials. But I like to say if I give you some concrete examples, it'll feel better. So two main types of data, continuous data and discrete data. Well, continuous means like weight. You can weigh 151.22 pounds and keep going on any part on a number line. But discrete data is categorical data, kind of like on a survey. One is you're not happy, two is you're somewhat happy, three is neutral, five is very happy. You really don't have 1.2 on a categorical scale. Now, one thing I'd like to share with you is as you get advanced statistics, you can actually model categorical data as continuous. But the good news, in the beginning, just know what we try to communicate with you on the different types. Now, what are some qualitative variables? I like to say qualitative variables are those ones that are categorical, like um, age group, or if you're in the military, your rank. They're, they're categorical, they're more like labels. Whereas quantitative data, kind of the number crunch or math type, you know, tough stuff, not social science, but more the science, science engineering science, quantitative data would be numerical, um, such as, you know, your, your age or, again, your height and in inches. And things that when you really want to get a number, like how many responses you can get correct, it'll be quantitative, whereas qualitative might be, did you do well, average, or poor? Um, some other key concepts have to do with um, what is an independent variable versus a dependent variable. And this is hard, in my opinion, to get from the readings. So I'm really glad we have this opportunity to do a video. I like to say a dependent variable goes with it depends on something else. For instance, if I wanted to study the impact of how much time you put into doing statistics homework and your grade on a statistics exam, well, the dependent variable would be the score you got or the grade. Now, it would be a number. It would be quantitative. But what do you think it could depend on? Well, it would depend on a variable such as how many hours you put in for studying. Now the hours you put in for studying would be considered the independent variable because it doesn't depend on anything. You used to, if you study more hours, you can. But your score clearly depends on the effort or time you put in. So that's a good explanation of dependent versus independent variables. And a lot of mathematical textbooks, the y variable will be considered the dependent variable and the x variable will be, will be considered the independent variable. So, module one continued. What kind of statistics do we have? And you'll see it. There's really two main branches of statistics. One is called inferential statistics, and another one's called descriptive statistics. Now, descriptive statistics, what does it sound like? It's descriptive. It describes things. Things like, what was, my, what was the average score on the statistics one exam? Or how much did things vary? Or what was the mode or the most frequent item that was observed that sold at Safeway or a store? Those are descriptive statistics. And they're kind of fun and pretty quick to get with data and information. The other harder one, I think, is inferential statistics. And that is in modules that are later on. Not the chapter one and chapter two, but more like the chapter six, seven, and eight as we go on in this class. Inferential statistics are, if we collect enough information, can we make inferences or predictions about a population we're studying? And so I hope 
This gives you an idea of a little bit of the types of things we're going to study in Module 1. Thank you very much. It's Michael Bagley.